All right, guys, so we're gonna give you a quick walk around of the Land Rover. This thing was unique. It was quite the experience. Yeah. If you want to embrace Costa Rica <laughs> in all of its wilderness and beauty and just be ingrained in the culture and a little bit of diesel smoke, yeah. <laughs> this is the way to go. This was, this was a classic ride. It was, it was really fun. It felt very like farm truck-esque. Uh -huh. And uh, you definitely got a taste of the wind and the rain and the heat and all that came with it. Yeah, no AC basically. No. There's a unit no. in there, but it's just, you know. It's just blowing air. It's just psychosomatic air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that turbo diesel, that was, fun. that was fun to drive. And just being manual. Yeah. And they, Nobody America was like, Are you, you, you understand the Defender is a bit more, you know. It's a rougher vehicle. Utilitarian. It's, it's not as plush and comfortable. We're like, no, we want that. Like, no, we're okay with that. We're going to be here for a week. We can handle that. Let's, let's go with something that is just awesome. Yeah, and not our norm at all. Not at all. Not at all. Now, there were times we definitely. Wished gotta, otherwise. You got to be comfortable with sweat. Yep. Uh, if it's raining cats and dogs, it's not got the best ventilation. So you'll be wiping some windows down. Uh, headlights on it. Not They're so not great. HIDs like you're used to. So it does have some things that are not compared to the Forerunner by any means. Right. But if you want an experience, this is the way to do it. Absolutely. All right. So I finally got to drive probably most of it, to be honest. And it was so much fun getting to drive a manual vehicle again. I loved the feeling of pushing into the gas pedal, releasing, pushing in the clutch and changing to the next gear. It felt so, so good going down the trail and down the highway. It was a perfect ride. Another cool thing about this vehicle is that they provided a center console lockbox and it's it's huge. So it's been able to lock, we've been able to lock up camera gear. We've been able to lock up money, any other essentials that we have. And so it's been very convenient and very nice to have the lockbox in the center console. So what we ended up doing is we ended up putting Caroline on the single side of this bench seat and which allowed for us to be able to use the rest of the seat for storage as well. And one thing that Kevin was really smart about doing was bringing in a 12 volt fan that we could plug in because we knew that Caroline was not gonna be able to handle not having that much air or air conditioning for that matter. And sometimes just having the window open if we're driving down a busy road can be really loud. And so we had the fan and we just hooked it over <laughs> the back of the seat and turned it on and she was able to stay cool and comfortable. So that was definitely something that if you consider doing a vehicle without air conditioning down here in Costa Rica, consider some fans. So we are getting ready to pack up on our last night here in Costa Rica, or last night camping that is. And I thought I'd take a minute to show you what Nomad America will pack for you guys and have ready for you when you come down to travel around Costa Rica. So this is a box that is basically your kitchen setup. So it's going to have your basic kitchen necessities in it. So let's take a look and see what they've got. So we've got plenty of propane tanks. We came with four. So we'll go ahead and pack that in. Then we've got a Coleman two burner stove, which has worked fantastically for us. And it comes with the attachment for the propane as well. Then we've got your pots and pans. So what's cool about this is this is a system that is a pot and then a skillet, which is acting as your lid as well. And so it nestles together. It's perfect. I'm pretty sure it's three to four pots and pans each. So you've got so much to cook with and size wise to work with. Then we've got our utensils here. Comes in a nice little pack and it's all the bare necessities of what you need. You've got a sharp knife, cutting board, tongs, metal, spatula, ladle, perfect for all of your cooking necessities. Then we've got our dishes. So we've, they give you as many dishes as per person you have in your group. So there's three of us. So we've got three plates, we had three mugs, we have three drinking cups, three bowls, coffee, pour over coffee filter, and three little dessert plates as well. Then you've got your silverware roll and this is a Coleman brand. Unroll it. Got forks, knives, and spoons. So it's perfect. So along with that we've got plenty of lights. They gave us headlamps, they gave us little lanterns, they gave us pin lights, 
They did not want us to be afraid of the dark, that's for sure. <laughs> and also, a hammock. They provide you a hammock because they know what they want you to do in Costa Rica. Pura Vida. It also came with a lighter for your stove and this was nice and easy to use. And it also comes with a wash basin so you'll be able to wash all of your dishes, rinse your feet off before you climb up in the tent. They equip you to get out there and have a good time. And with our rig, the Defender, we got this water jug along with a tube water source as well. Um, and it's been nice to have this because we've already run out of our tube water source. So water's definitely been a struggle for us. So you want as much as you can get. We're used to 42 gallons of water, so <laughs> we're a little spoiled on water. That's right. <laughs> so really nothing fancy back here in the back, but you get a ton of storage. So if you're coming with a family with two or three kids, this might be a good option because you can really pack this thing full. It does come with one bin that's got all your basic camping needs, a cooler, and then camping chairs as well. Uh, there's not a toolkit on board, so be mindful of that. Don't get too crazy with it on the trails and things, but you can change the spare tire. That's about the extent of your repair capabilities. But the vehicle does come with its own cell phone on the local network, so you can call out. We also brought our inReach, our Garmin inReach, so that if we needed to, we could actually text Nomad America and say, hey, you know, we've got an issue. This is our, our coordinates. So something else to consider on top of the SOS capabilities of that unit. We just brought, you know, a couple of suitcases. We've got one that's full of gear. We've got one that's full of clothes and then a couple of camera bags. Uh, my biggest piece of advice, pack light, pack simple, especially if you're just coming for a week like what we did. You don't need a lot of stuff. I bet I only wore a third of the clothes because most of the time I was in my swimming trunks out here. Sometimes it's so hot, you really don't even want to wear a shirt. So just get into it, enjoy it, create your own experience, and you're going to be fine. Now up top we've got a double tent. So this is basically what you would find in the size of the uh, Sydney or the uh, CVT Denali size tent. Bigger than a king size bed, so there's plenty of room for all three of us. Definitely recommend that because of the humidity and the heat. You don't want to be sleeping on top of each other. And it's another good reason to bring a few fans and maybe some battery packs to run those off of because there are no live sockets on this vehicle unless it's running. So bring a little bit of extra power if you plan on running your fans, charge your phones, things like that. We also have an awning, which you saw us <laughs> utilize during those rainstorms when we were kind of up in the mountains and stuff. So it's not fancy, it's not plush, but it is totally functional. And I had a blast. It's, it's, a, it's, a, lo it's a lot of work, it, but it was totally worth the experience to get here, to get in the dirt, get in the sweat, and just really soak in Costa Rica. The Defender is a fun ride. I have to say I'm a bit, I'm a bit in love with it, kind of like Sarah is. Uh, I will not be trading in the Land Cruiser though, so. All right guys, so we are wrapping up the end of our Costa Rica trip and I wanted to check in with our friends and see what they like about the rig that they chose with Nomad America. So what was some of your high points? What was some of your favorite things that you both liked about the rig? Um, it was really nice on the beach, especially with the kiddos, because you can just wipe them off real easily and they had a shower and water. Yeah. So that was really nice. The outdoor shower was spot on. Yeah. So especially on the beach. It was a big help. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And it, the mattress was pretty thick. Like that was comfortable. Yeah. 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 How did it feel driving such a big vehicle? Because you picked what? The Tundra? Yeah. Right? It's, it's yes. a so Tundra a with tundra. a good camper on the side of it so it overhangs. In a third world country, small streets, mm -hmm. you yeah. definitely feel large it, it it now has a name it's large marge yeah there you go <laughs> so but overall no it, it's not terrible the roads aren't so narrow that you, you don't feel like you're not going to be able to pass through but there's more yeah. than one time that it was car First aren't coming you're through. going this way there's somebody on the shoulder there's somebody on that shoulder and there's yeah yeah i would prefer a smaller a smaller rig sure like i like the camper and the comfort the comfort it had but mm -hmm. like smaller rig mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I would still I would still go back to that oh, versus this. So did you feel like Nomad America provided everything that you needed? Did you feel like you were missing anything or that you wanted something else or was it all right? Um, for the most part, yeah. The extra bedding would have been nice mm -hmm. for the kids. Yeah. But it mm -hmm. came with a basic comforter sheet set for the mm -hmm. big bed. Pillows. Yeah, yeah fresh, pillows clean pillows. Everything. Dishes and cookware. cookware and... Pots, pans. Pots, pans. Coffee maker. 
Yeah. yeah. So. All, the, all the necessities were there. Yes. Overall, yeah. are you pleased with the rig that you chose for this week? Yes. yes. It was a lot of fun for this week. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it was, it was an experiment because yeah. we were on the Forerunner with yeah. the rooftop tent. So doing something bigger, doing the pop top mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. camper bed. Yeah. It was like, it'll be a fun experiment. Sure. I wanted to see what it was like to run a bigger rig and bigger camper style, and I got to check, check it out. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, it, it's well set up. I mean, it, it's a basic mini camper, RV, whatever you want to call it. So, Dometic fridge with a freezer on top. It runs AC, DC, or gas. Um, basic storage, cutlery and all that. Shower with a commode in it. Storage on top of... So, like running down the road, we put the camp chairs and all the tall stuff in there. Um, this folds up, so you have an actual table there, and then all of that would store up underneath this. Oh, wow, okay. So, and actually it did have a yoga mat. Well, look at there. Yeah. So. Awesome. But, so, and it's, I mean, that's a full, full match, full right. thick mattress. Yeah, y'all were sleeping good, man. Yeah, we were sleeping yeah. pretty good. How about security? Did you feel more secure up in this than you would in a rooftop tent? Maybe a little, the fact that you can actually lock a door. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know, I've never had a huge security yeah. scare or, or, or fear with, with the rooftop tent, so. Well, and you know, being in another country, this might be a good option for someone who has those concerns. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so. be able to go, hey, I can lock the door. Just feel a little bit better. A little bit more secure, yeah. Right, right. So. Awesome, nice setup. It was it was a it was an enjoyable do. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Nomad America, for letting us borrow your rig for a week. We had an absolute blast, and we will be back. We will definitely be back, and we're going to spend a lot more time in Costa Rica, seeing all there is to see. So, we'll catch you on the next one.